Proper maintenance and selection of a metalworking fluid can result in a system lasting many months without the need for a full cleanout. Eventually, every system will require intervention. In this video, we'll be discussing how to perform a dump, clean, and recharge of water miscible metalworking fluids, more commonly referred to as a DCR. Determining the best time to conduct a DCR is dependent on the circumstances at hand. Some facilities will run until failure, while others proactively plan cleanouts around scheduled shutdowns. Metalworking fluid specialists can advise whether characteristics of the fluid have been compromised beyond repair. This is when it is time to perform a DCR. The first step is to dump the existing system. Depending on the size of the sump, this could take a few minutes or hours to complete. The most efficient way to do this for smaller individual sumps is with a portable pump. The primary objective in this step is to remove as much of the existing fluid and metal chips as possible in preparation for steps two and three. Be sure to turn off machine equipment to avoid cavitation or damage to pumps. Remove any screens, panels, and inline filtration equipment for further cleaning. Once the fluid has been removed from the system, the next step is to clean the machine. If conducted correctly, this should be the longest and most thorough step in the process. Physically remove all buildup and debris from the tank. Allowing sufficient time for this step will ensure the new fluid is not unnecessarily contaminated by residual dirt. Keep in mind that the sump is not the only area of concern when cleaning a machine. Any area where fluid flows or chips are distributed should be flushed or wiped down as much as possible. In order to optimize the cleaning stage, add a solution of machine cleaner and circulate it in the machine for two to four hours. Allow sufficient time for complete flushing of all pipes and nozzles. This is a good time to wipe down all areas in and around the machine that were not covered earlier. Thorough removal of the cleaner is a critical step to ensure it does not contaminate the final product which will be added later. Rinse machine with a mixture of one to 2% concentration of the fresh metal working product until all residual fluid is collected or for at least 30 minutes. Drain and dispose of this fluid before progressing to the recharge step. The final stage in the process is recharge. By this point, the machine should be well cleaned and ready for a fresh solution of metalworking fluid. It is important to determine the total volume of the machine sump before making any additions. Check the machine manual first for sump specifications to prevent overflow. If that information is not available, the volume can be calculated. Take measurements of the depth, width, and length to determine the approximate volume. Sump levels may decrease once fluid is circulating in the machine. Additional fluid can be added to ensure that cavitation of pumps does not occur. When determining the percent concentration required for the application, refer to the supplier product data sheet for advice. For smaller sumps, a mixture of diluted fluid concentrate can be pre-made in a separate designated container or by first filling the tank with approximately 85% water and then adding the appropriate amount of metalworking, concentrate slowly to a circulating system. Remember the acronym OIL, which stands for oil and last, to ensure a stable emulsion is created. After completing all the steps, allow the new fluid to circulate for 15 minutes through the system, and then conduct a pH and concentration check with a refractometer to ensure the fluid is within recommended operating parameters. Maintaining a clean machine is crucial for the longevity and efficiency of your equipment. By regularly removing contaminants and following the proper cleaning procedures, you not only enhance machine performance, but prolong the life of your metalworking equipment. For more information on this and any other topics, please visit our website at castrol.com or reach out to your local Castrol representative. Thank <laughs> you.